Maayong adyaw mga kasidoy. Here are the day's hottest stories in tonight's edition of Cebu Daily Newscast. For today's top story, the tropical depression east of southeast Mindanao has weakened into a low-pressure area. This is based on the latest advisory of the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration on Tuesday, November 14, 2023. Based on available data, the location of the center of the LPA is estimated at 1,620 kilometers east of southeastern Mindanao, which is still outside the Philippine area of responsibility. The advisory also said that there would also be a chance for the weather disturbance to reorganize and redevelop in the tropical depression. Should this happen and the weather disturbance will enter the far, then this will be a cold kabayat, the advisory said. In other news, the Singulog Festival in January 2024 will still be held at South Road Properties. Executive Director Elmer Labella of the Sinulog Foundation confirmed this in a press briefing today. The SFI is expecting 30 contingents to participate in a January 2024 event, with 15 contingents already showing interest in joining the festival. Labella also cited SFI's initial preparation for the festival, such as the plan to have a 3.7-kilometer carousel route and a 60 to 70 million peso estimate budget for the event. The SFI also plans to invite President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Vice President Sara Duterte to attend the celebration. Meanwhile, despite having settled with his victim, the 19-year-old SMB driver who bumped a woman while he counterflowed against traffic, is still out of the woods. This was after the Land Transportation Office in Central Visayas issued a show cause order against the driver on Tuesday, November 14. Apparently, the accident along Gorodo Avenue in Cebu City went viral online and this got the attention of LPO7 Regional Director Glenn Galario. The driver, identified as William Baxter, is scheduled to appear at the LTO 7 office on November 21. And on the lighter side of the news, Miss Universe Philippines Michelle Marquez D is among a dozen Miss Universe bats who can draw an arsenal from the previous global conquest as they compete for this year's Miss Universe title. D finished in the top 12 of 2019 Miss World pageant held in London. One candidate, Antonia Forsyth of Final End, even won the Miss Supranational in 2019. Other Miss Universe candidates who did well in international competitions before, including Carla Gilfo from Puerto Rico who finished second in Miss Supranational 2021. Another candidate is Madison Valton of Canada, who finished in the top eight of 2022 Miss International pageant. These seasoned contestants will compete in El Salvador for the Miss Universe 2023 crowd. The winner will be known on November 19 in Manila. That's all for today, Castiloy. Get the full story by visiting our page at cdn.ph or follow us on social media at CDN Digital. I'm Pia Piquero. Join us again tomorrow for more updates on your Cebu Daily Newscast. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay safe, mga kasilor.